Hello, this is Sister Charlene Winston, and I'm coming with you, to you today with Friday's Daily Bible Study. I want to thank each of you for joining with me as we gather together to study the Word of the Lord, that we become more proficient doers of His Word and not hearers only. Amen. Our lesson for today, Faithful Servants, Faithful Servants, coming from Luke, tw Luke 12, verses 37 through 40. Amen. Before we get started, though, I want to ask each of you if something is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or if you want to make a comment or have a question, please feel free to jot it right down at the bottom below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if something is said touches your spirit, or you enjoy uh following along with me to study the word of the of the Lord. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell at right there in the, in the right hand corner that you may be notified each time I put out a new lesson. Amen. And I do appreciate it very much. Amen. Because it helps me to study, to help me to learn as each one uh, adds their comments and their thoughts about it. Amen. About the lessons. Amen. Before we get started, we're going to uh, have prayer and then we're going to move right into the lesson. Amen. Dear God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for all that you do. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you for watching over us day and night. We thank you for going with us up and down the dangerous highways in thy name, Jesus. Lord, we thank you Thank you that you are wonderful and that you are our counselor. We thank you that you are God Almighty and we thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are everlasting, Father. We thank you that you are Prince of Peace, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you bestow upon us, those seen and unseen, Lord. We thank you for making a way out of no way. Lord, we ask at this time that our eyes be open that we may see, our ears be open that we may hear. And please give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high that it touches each one of us specially. We thank you that through your Holy Spirit that resides in each of us, that we are touched, we are moved, and something that we need, that we receive as we study your word, Heavenly Father. And the more we learn, the more that's open up to us, and the more we are a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, we do thank you, give you honor and praise. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, we're going to get ready and get dive right into the lesson for today. Amen. And our lesson, as we said, faithful servants, faithful servants, coming from Luke 12, verses 37 through 40. And the scripture lesson text read, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to me, and will come forth and serve them. And if he come, if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants, no matter when he comes. Amen. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at the hour when ye think not amen we do not know when it's our time we do not know when christ is coming back again we do not know when our time is up amen there is no set uh year or no set time frame that you know that we will be taken uh back to our heavenly father so we want to be caught doing no matter when the time comes amen and it says, our uh, commentary says, when the man comes back uh, from the wedding, his servants are eagerly watching for him, ready to swing into action at his command. He is so pleased with their watchful attitude that he turns the table as it were. Uh, he girds himself with a servant's apron, sits them at the table, and serves them a meal. And of course, this reminds us of Jesus Christ as he washed the disciples' feet on his uh, last evening with them. Amen. He, as he washed their feet, that let them know that you know that you should do as I have done unto you. Amen. It's a, this is a very touching suggestion that he who once came into the world in the form of a bond slave will grudgingly, con 
condescend to serve his people again in their heavenly home. The devout German Bible scholar Ben Gale regarded verse 37 as the greatest promise in all God's word, that he would be ready for us and ready to serve us. As it is said, you know, that we that you said we are ready to go and, and to meet into the house of worship that God has prepared for us. Amen. It's the Lord the Lord changes the picture by alluding to a homeowner whose house was broken into in an unguarded moment. The coming of the thief was entirely unexpected. If, if the master of the house had known, he would not have allowed his house to be broken into. The lesson is that the time of Christ's coming is uncertain. No one knows the day or the hour when he will appear. When he does come, those believers who have laid up treasures on earth will lose them all. Because as someone has said, a Christian either leaves his wealth or goes to it. If we are really watching for Christ's return, we will sell all that we have and lay up treasure in heaven where no thief can reach them. Amen. We want to prepare for the time to come. Amen. We want to prepare for what God has for us. We want to make sure that we are ready. Amen. And be caught doing. Amen. Many people, and I don't want to uh, uh, pull down on what no one is doing or how they're doing it. And there's nothing wrong with the study of uh, uh, when they believe Christ is coming. But you shouldn't make this your, your life uh, 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 because he expects you to be doing something uh, uh, other than uh, trying to watch and see when he's coming. He wants you to be doing something for others that is a blessing to them. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.